So today uh, we've been again following social distancing guidelines uh, and I wanted to try something different today. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, staff uh, and key workers are having problems with uh, rubbing their ears. So I wanted to make an ear guard. I've seen some available online that are 3D printed, but I wanted to make one that was available for anyone to be able to produce even people at home. Um, so we've been using Piper Polystyrene. I made something that looks like this. It's got a little tab of neoprene on the back. It doesn't necessarily need the neoprene. Uh, it's just something which can prevent rubbing on the ears. So we've made it about 100 today, uh, which has been uh, put into this, this pack so that uh, it can't be contaminated in any way. But it's pretty simple to do. We're going to make available on the school's website um, the design, which can be printed off onto any A4 piece of paper. And you can use any kind of flexible plastic, for example, a milk bottle, um, as long as it's been cleaned and washed. Um, that you could use uh, and send to somebody who might need it. Uh, but we're also making it available for other teaching staff in other schools and it will be shared uh, on, online. Um, so we're just trying to do what we can to help.